Alrighty, major news is broken that Six Flags and Cedar Fair are going to merge as a company as early as mid next year. Now, I'm going to discuss in this video what that means for Canada's Wonderland as a park, and only Canada's Wonderland. Now, <laughs> I know a lot of you are probably a little nervous. Uh, are we going to see Aquaman as Leviathan? Um, Batman as like Yukon Striker, and I don't know, Flash as like our new uh, blast coaster out of the mountain. No, I really don't think so. But again, it is way too early to make predictions on that. But I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on what's possibly going to happen at Canada's Wonderland because I do have some really big concerns. Um, so on the call and from the investor presentation, the slides. Um, They've kind of restructured the company into where these parks fit geographically. So keyword geographically, not necessarily profit, investments, all that. Um, so Canada's Wonderland has been pushed out of the area where that it was included with Cedar Point and is now included in a sub little category, the smallest little category, again, geographically. But nonetheless, Canada's Wonderland was one of the top parks in the Cedar Fair chain. It really was. It was up there with Knott's Berry Farm and Cedar Point. So when you're like that in a company like Cedar Fair, of course, you're going to be like a star child and you're going to receive amazing investments like you see on the screen, the Blast Coaster. So this is one of our planned additions at Canada's Wonderland. I'm going to use keyword planned addition at Canada's Wonderland. Um, and now you have all these other parks joining the family. Yes, your ability to spend more because you have a large portfolio does exist. But when Cedar Fair, them being in charge, is taking over a bunch of these other parks, their attention is going to shift, no matter how you look at it. And I'm going to tell you, as someone who's been a stockholder for quite some time, um, and anyone else who's been a unit holder um, in Cedar Fair for quite some time, you'll know that Cedar Fair has wanted Texas parks forever. They've wanted to own Texas parks forever. And I think that there are a lot of other parks in this chain that Cedar Fair is going to have to give a lot of attention to other than Canada's Wonderland. And Canada's Wonderland is a park that just does well. Um, so it makes me really nervous it, how high on the totem pole some of these investments that they had planned are going to remain. Are we going to see a pause? Are we going to see a delay? Are we going to see a scrap? Um, but nonetheless, I really hope that you know, these ones that were already starting construction continue. I'll have to keep an eye on that. You know, I'll be, uh, I'll be, I'll be talking to people. <laughs> I'm going to be flat out now. I will be talking to people and I'm going to see what's going on because I bet you, I I'm telling you right now that even higher ups at Wonderland are a little nervous. Higher ups at Kings Island are nervous. Higher ups at Cedar Point are nervous. Okay. Th this is a huge gray area for everyone. Um, but let's talk about it. Do I think these projects are going to still happen? Some of them, yes. There, It's inevitable that there's going to be a shift or a change in projects, especially when you have access to more IPs, which brings me to my last concern, Action Zone. So I know and you know that Wonderland has wanted to redevelop Action Zone back to its glory days um, for quite some time. Um, and those changes were approaching on the timeline of investments. With the IPs having access and with Six Flags having some sort of say, um, again, I, people are underplaying Salem's say in this new company just because, um, you know, uh, he is the board of the head of the board of directors. He does have an extreme say and six of the directors are Six Flags and we do have access to ZC. So we do have to talk about could Action Zone become the new DC universe at Canada's Wonderland? Do you think that there's a market in the Toronto area where Cedar Fair and Six Flags would possibly invest in DC um, to replace Action Zone? I really hope not. I I'm a huge, I do not like rides themed to superheroes. I think it's so tacky and trashy and like, it's just so uh, like, uh, like, ew, um, to me. And um, yeah, but I, we can't ignore that possibility. So a few of the changes that I think are going to happen instantly is you're going to see, um, and this was going to happen re whether Six Flags and Cedar Fair merged or not, you're going to see labor cuts. Um, we are heading into difficult times. Um, whether you like it or not, there is definitely an economic downturn predicted. Um, and you're going to see labor cuts. You're going to see... Um, 
parks focus on bringing in people that they maybe couldn't before. So you're going to see a lot of investments at Wonderland in terms of entertainment, um, beautifying the park, and just offering better food and better events. Um, something I've heard down the rumor mill is Winterfest is due for a major investment, major investment, major investment in 2024 um so there will be some sort of really big add-on to winterfest in 2024 that i will not reveal yet um but outside of that um you will see changes to plans whether again you like it or not there will be changes to construction plans rides investment but what i really think wonderland is going to benefit to focus on the positive here is you're going to see technology come to wonderland um i hadn't revealed in my construction update yet i was going to post it soon but um, I'll, I'll reveal it here. That mobile ordering for food is coming to Canada's Wonderland next season. Um, for those of you that were paying attention, they were already installing the order screens and the screens at the restaurants um, in the last two weeks of Howling Haunt. So if you looked closely, you would have seen them. The order screens were being installed. So you're going to see mobile ordering come to Canada's Wonderland. And you're going to see automatic toll booths come to Canada's Wonderland as well. There were construction markings in the parking lot leading up to the toll booths. That really does lead me to think that we are one of the parks that we're going to get that and Six Flags is one of those parks that are key on that. I also think there's a possibility that we could potentially see those solar parking um, things come to Canada's Wonderland down the road as well with such high costs at Canada's Wonderland. Investing in that would actually be smart. Um, other things um, that Cedar Fair talked about is they said that there wasn't going to be a change um, in investments. In fact, there would be a plus in investments. So let's let's keep our fingers crossed that Canada's Wonderland remains on the top of that list for investments, although I really don't think it's likely that we'll be as high as we were under Cedar Fair. Um, if you're worried about the name Six Flags being plastered on Canada's Wonderland, that will not happen. Um, so Canada's Wonderland will remain Canada's Wonderland and not have Six Flags plastered on it, but expect sponsorships throughout the park. That doesn't necessarily mean rides are going to be sponsored um, in such massive ways that Six Flags used to. It just means that you might see those things like tackies underneath the ride name in a very small way. I do not think that any current ride is going to be rethemed or renamed outside of Action Zone. And do I still think that we will see investments in Frontier Canada? Yes, I do. Do I necessarily think that we may see some of those major upgrades that were down the line two to three years? That's iffy to me. I can't really comment on it yet. I still have to go out and have conversations with some of my sources and people in the industry. Trust me, the Snapchats I've been receiving today from some people in the industry, people are shocked. So um, you're going to have to give me about a good week to have some good conversations and to get some information and just get out there in the pipeline and figure some stuff out. But trust me, I will be. Um, so with that said, not don't expect anything major in the next two to three years. I really think that our 2025 coaster is still going to move forward. So that's a good sign. Um, and technology wise, Canada's Wonderland will benefit. Um, but outside of that, I would be concerned about um, cuts to labor, maybe not necessarily running three trains all the time. Uh, but again, there were key emphasis on the call that said that they were going to go kind of down the route of how Cedar Fair runs their parks, and then that they would just add the Six Flags um, technology and innovation. So hopefully this answered any of your questions. If you have any more, comment down below, and I'll try and answer them. Have a good one, guys. Bye.